cast member of Street Outlaws, that's a Discovery TV show, has died while filming in Las Vegas. A cast member of the TV show Street Outlaws died in a crash near Apex. There is always a strange void when a celebrity dies. It's like seeing a star explode. At first, you can't believe that this bright, shining thing in your life is gone. You stare at the stardust before breaking down in tears, unable to believe what you've just witnessed, and realizing that the lights will never shine again. But you still have to pick up the pieces and move on. This is going to be a different episode of Tuna No Crust. Although we're still talking about a celebrity on a car show that people love, this is going to be more sober than usual. Let's not delay any longer. We're going to talk about Ryan Fellows, a driver on the show Street Outlaws who passed away earlier this month. First, a quick refresher for anyone who has not seen Street Outlaws. Street Outlaws is all about the illegal sport of street racing, including the sometimes vicious interactions between drivers and what goes on behind the scenes. The show started airing on Discovery Channel in June of 2013 and has been going on in one form or another since. The spin-off that Ryan Fellows was on, Street Outlaws America's Fastest, involved the best racers in the country converging upon a city for some of the most intense street racing to date. And if that sounds dangerous, it is. We have other videos covering the severe injuries that can happen during these street races. Usually, things are set up so that the high-speed races are as safe as they can possibly be. But sometimes, even the best laid plans go awry. And that is what happened with Ryan Fellows. So, who was Ryan Fellows? What did he do on the show? And what legacy did he leave behind? Let's take a closer look at what he did on the show and what you can do to support his wife and kids. My name is Ryan Fellows, and I'm driving a 2016 Lamborghini Huracan. The Lambo is a car you would never expect to drag race, but I've always been a big drag racing guy, so we decided to put it on the street and see if we could drag with it. Ryan Fellows was very private about his home and family life. He was born on November 20th, 1981. Along with cars, he also loved basketball and sales and advertising. He might have gotten along with Richard Rawlings, but the two never met. Ryan Fellows' career on Street Outlaws was something of a mystery. He does not have a page on IMDb. While there are a few possible appearances of Ryan Fellows, he has only one well-known episode appearance, a 2021 episode in which he drove a Lamborghini Huracan. During the same episode, he also declared his love of drag racing. The whole reason he was driving a Lambo was that it was unusual for the sport. The Lambo lost, with the Memphis team cheering that the poor men had a chance at winning. The episode also points out that Ryan Fellows almost crashed his Lambo. Fellows' opponent, Brian Britt, said, The $300,000 Lamborghini almost crashed, but he got it under control. Fellows himself mentioned how odd it was that he almost lost control of the car. Most street racers are well aware of the risks that come with the job. Ryan Fellows was definitely among them and stopped his pricey vehicle in the nick of time. Even though many news sites describe him as a star, few other sources have detailed information about what he did on Street Outlaws. This is not a story where mechanics and drivers have a well-charted passion for vehicles from birth, but it's clear that Fellows loved cars and was a true road warrior. Ryan Fellows' lack of appearances does not make his death any less tragic. And now we have to talk about exactly what happened. Discovery Channel was filming the most recent episode of Street Outlaws, Fastest in America, in Las Vegas, Nevada. This race was number 8 out of a 9 race setup. Everything seemed to be going well until Fellows' car, a gold Nissan 240Z, went off the road. The Nissan had almost reached the finish line when Fellows lost control. His vehicle rolled and caught fire. Onlookers rushed to get Fellows out of the blaze but could not free him in time. Multiple news sources, including Deadline and TMZ, confirmed his death mere hours after the crash. He was 41 years old. The crash happened early morning on Sunday, August 8, 2022. The filming of Street Outlaws Fastest in America has been suspended until further notice. What's up, guys? So, super excited um, coming to you today. Uh, we just recently bought um, Josh Lightfoot's 280Z. Um, absolutely gorgeous car um, um, he hit me up saying asking if I wanted to buy it and I was like definitely um, let's do it so we bought that car um, that car is a proven winner 
It's a killer. It runs really fast times on the street. Um, and I think ultimately it has a great potential for the back of track races, which is what I want to do. Discovery put out a statement on Twitter. The Street Outlaws family is heartbroken by the accident that led to the tragic death of Ryan Fellows. We extend our deepest sympathy to Ryan's loved ones as they process this sudden and devastating loss. It's standard condolence, but we have every reason to believe they care. The sentiments of his family are more heartfelt and tear-jerking. Ryan Fellows was survived by his wife Elizabeth and two children, Josiah and Olivia. Both his wife and son assert that Ryan Fellows was both passionate about cars and a real family man. According to Josiah via Fox 5 Vegas, his priority was always us. Josiah remembers that I thought I was in a nightmare because I was sleeping at the time, so I was just so shocked. But he wants to live such that his father would be proud. He wants to become a man and look after what family he has left. Olivia, currently 10 years old, has not made any comments. Elizabeth thought her husband's death was a cruel joke at first. Once she realized it was real, it hit her like a ton of bricks, to quote Fox 5 again. He has really given me everything I have wanted in life, Elizabeth said. They had been together for almost 20 years. Elizabeth also received multiple calls describing what happened. According to her, Ryan lost control a couple of times and then gained control and lost control. And then, at the very end, he lost control and went into the desert and flipped and caught fire. Since we don't have any footage to go by, this is the most detailed information that we have. We do not know if or when Discovery will release footage of the accident. The reactions to Fellow's death range from, Discovery could have done more to prevent this, to, please have sympathy for this family who lost their dad. While maybe Discovery could have done more, we also think that people should be able to extend a hand to Fellow's wife and kids. We have a way that you can do just that. One way that you can show your condolences for free is by signing the guest book at Legacy.com. If you wish to support the family of Ryan Fellows, a GoFundMe was created and we'll leave the link to it in the description below. As of this writing, the campaign is less than halfway towards its $50,000 goal. If you want to show your support, this is one of the better ways to do so. We at Tuna No Crust will miss Ryan Fellows. We might not have had many episodes to his name, but we won't forget when he raced a Lambo against the truck. But what recent celebrity death shook you the most? Let's mourn together over Ryan Fellows and other fallen celebrities who left more than stardust in their wake. As we said, this episode was a little unusual. We have other content that's more upbeat. If you need something to perk you up after this, try one of our other videos and then like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell so that you don't miss the next hottest thing. We promise it'll be a little more optimistic. We'll see you next time.